Hello, chat. It is the moi. It is the moi. The skiddy of Ace. How is y'all doing? Actually, hold on. I'm gonna. I gotta mess a bit with my uh, chat overlay. And that should be good. But yeah. We are going to be working on this. So yeah. So the main thing I'm probably going to be doing today is probably like work on, you know, the pants theme. Is like, kind of like work on like the bottom half of this model a little more. Because I uh, really need to work on it. Because it is nowhere near done. I mean, is there always a way that I could just like have the uh, bottom half of the model be not as detailed? I could. But that would be disingenuous. And I really want the bottom half of the model to at least be somewhat more complete and detailed compared to my the current model that I'm using right now. And over here, of course, is, you know, this thing. And there's also the, uh... concept art and yeah I do need to like work on my uh I need to work on the flyaways I also need to do the base hair again also my hair is like pretty curly right now Though it does look a little greasy. But yeah, that's what we're going to be doing for today. And also, after this, I'm going to be working on the redesign for... One of my OCs, which is going to be showing up as the old plush toggle. But for now, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to, uh... Alright. Uh... Pants. Seams. Line art. 
And I do have my water with me. I am probably going to have to put this in the wash, wash though, before the convention. So, 2.0 colors. I'm going to do the curve. Wait, no. Bezier curve. That is what I was going to do. There we go. Oh, I just realized I need to do the line color. Or for here. And I also need to do this. So I can probably, uh, Control X, Control V, merge with the layer below, and now we can like do a little bit of uh, something like this. And the reason why I'm doing this seam in the first place is because, uh, one, I, uh, wanted to have this in the concept art, and two, I wanted to add a little more detail to the model. And I know that because of the, uh, size of the booba, you know, like, all of this. I, uh, might not be really able to do the side seam for the shirt. And because of that, I just thought, eh, I'll just do the pants. And I do, of course, need to, uh... Work on uh, sep probably separating these fingers if I really want to bother. You know, with them. I mean, I might not really like bother with it. But I might. But now I need to work on the uh, these little things. In fact, I might like 
Just draw them straight. So that's where that one, the layer one, was. But I think I might... I definitely need to fix this. God. And uh... Hmm. Right, that looks about equal. Just want to add the little pants theme at the bottom so that these are not just lonely. But now. Hmm. So... Hmm... Hmm-hmm... <laughs> now I need to figure out how to do the diamond pattern. Cause... And now I'm probably gonna have to do this. And like, bring it this up. But of course, this doesn't really consider, like, if I have to bring them forward a little, you know, the distortions. So I might have to, like, do them straight. Made across. In fact, I, uh... Do I have the, uh... Have any shapes? I might have to uh, make one. A little shape. At the diamonds. Actually, hold on. I do have a little sketch, but it's kind of bad. So, uh... Could be what it looks like. I don't know.
Do I? Uh... Oh, I could do the infinity diamond. Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. Lock the lair. Let's. Wait, no. I think I have an idea. I could reuse this little infinity symbol. Like, over on the pants. But first, uh... Okay, uh... Edit... Transform... Rotate... Hold on... Alright! So, uh... Now I just need to... Scale this up... Now, I can do, uh... Now, I can just do a straight line... Uh... Like, all over here. <laughs> oh god, hiccups. completely perfect. No, it's not. But... It's an idea. And we cooking. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Like, I could do this. However, I, uh, might need to turn off the, uh... Uh... I have to turn off the ruler... Or first. And, uh, CV. Symmetry ruler. 
like down here. Wait, no, I uh, meant to do it. Wait, hold on. I can just do like then delete ruler. I can just use my mouse for this. Control C, Control V. Let's delete the ruler. Transform, uh, flip vertical. Now we can uh, shift it. And there we go. That was pretty easy. Now all I need to do is just copy and paste that a bunch of times. And of course I'm probably not going to like immediately start distorting it because I uh need to, like, because of, you know, how the legs are gonna be, I have to do this under, like, a warp layer. And because of the warp, I want to try and have the, you know, this as unwarped as possible. So, I'm going to move this. I'll merge. CV CV Now add a layer under them Get out the base for the red Let's turn this up to 30. And then we start doing this. Eventually we are going to uh, merge down the layers. This is kind of just so like... We can know... What it's going to look like. You know. Beyond like the uh.
distortions. And of course, the diamonds are going to be clipped onto to the uh, lower pant layer. It's just that for now, I'm going to leave them kind of like as they are. And also, when you export this, you know, file to Live 2D, you have to do the clipping all over again. Which uh, kind of sucks. But hey, that's kind of like the, uh... One of the drawbacks sometimes of using Live 2D. I might need to turn on the opacity of this and see if, you know, the color is, like, within all the crevices. Almost done with the colors. And I am, of course, probably gonna have to, like, fix up, up the little seam, uh, seam part in between. I transitions the upper leg to the lower leg. Because right now that's a little wonky. the tail end of coloring these in. Also, there is something else that I'm going to do uh, during the stream. Probably once I get bored of, you know, working on my my model. Well, I'm probably going to like start working on the redesign for my uh one of my Transformers characters. I 
Her name is Sibi Ector. Y'all probably have seen her on stream before, depending on how long you've been here. Oh, y'all have probably seen her, like, more humanoid form I'm on my Tumblr. I'm kind of, like, in uh, progress of redesigning her. Which is right here. Also, ignore this. This is for, like, a version of her for a specific continuity. Which is Earth Spark. And from what I've heard, Season 3 is currently better than Season 2. And I'd like to mention that Season 2 with Earth Spark was kind of like dog shit because they, like, completely went back on literally all of the character development for some of the Decepticon characters that have been in Season 1. Especially for Starscream. But yeah. So, like... This is what kind of like Subi's design was before. Ignore the tongue thing, I just wanted to make her look a little silly. And this is kind of like her human version. But yeah. A little bit of design changes have been going on. But for now, I'm going to try and, like, continue working on my, uh, on these two. So, uh, color... Gotta unlock that layer. And that will go. Let's do uh, a little bit of this. Oh! I uh, forgot to turn uh, the ruler back on. Oopsies! So... Kinda like... Doing this... So it's not like super janky... And we like... I'm probably going to blur a little bit... Right of this... Kind of like for the transition in between, you know, the two color, I mean, the two parts. But yeah. So it's getting close to, uh, an hour, so I might do an intermission soon. So, because I can feel my attention span 
slowly deteriorating right now. I can feel it deteriorate. So... Oh, I meant to do this. And... Yeah. Most likely, uh, I can most likely uh, work on, you know, this model more. So I should probably, like, control, cut, and paste this layer into the seams. Because, you know... The seams... Have some work... To be done. To be done. They have stuff to be done. We must work and stuff. But yeah, I'm most likely gonna like. Work on the seams. I definitely need to color the layer. Which I'm gonna do right now. Oh, actually. And of course, I do need to eventually separate these, you know. Into all of the uh, left, right side. Like, I need to separate some of these into left side. I mean, left side, like, according to the model, and then right side according to the model. And I did try to do, like, the. Uh, you know, the greater than and less than signs, but. There was a flaw with that. I have dyspraxia. My hand eye coordination and sense of direction is dog shit. And because of that, I did accidentally rigged the eye in the wrong parameters. Which is a big oof for me! <laughs> but yeah. I uh, definitely need to like... Work on stuff. 
And I probably should like thicken up the line here a little more. And this is going to be like distorted to the uh you know shape of the the contour of the leg leg pants the leg of the pants it will be distorted to that later in fact i could probably like copy paste it and then like do a mesh transform and use that kind of like as a guide Headline because you can kind of like do that in Life 2D. Uh, yeah, where? Uh, actually, hold on. I, uh, Let's turn those layers off. And uh, do uh, this so all the line art and the colors have uh, no gaps. You know, in between. Because If I find out that I ended up forgetting in a little, little gap, will it probably be visible well, most of the time? No, because this is the lower half of the model. But will it annoy me to no end? Yes. And that is why I'm doing this, so it does not take over my mind and drive me insane. Also, while I'm at the convention, I'm probably going to bring some of my art supplies. I'm probably not going to bring, like, absolutely everything I have. I mean, I do have my backpack. That I did bring last year. But I mostly, like, kept that, like, in the, you know, the room my department is in. So that in case I'm, like, on break or, like, if it's not, you know, my shift right now, you know, at that moment, I can just, like, Doodle. In fact, fully expect me to do to like dump a bunch of art into my Discord. So because I uh, want to have access to my computer uh, until like Sunday. And for anyone who looked at my schedule at all... Like... You're probably wondering why to, to speak only has three days. And I don't have any Halloween streams planned. It's simple. Halloween is the day that I have to get up to the convention center. And because of that, I want to get there as soon as I can. Unfortunately, that means I will not be able to, like, stream at all that day. Because I, uh, want to get there right as early as I can. Because last year, I uh, kind of got there a little late because I was, you know... In class! Luckily, this year, I decided to just do an accelerated course for the semester that I didn't have to worry. Yeah, like, 
at all about assignments during the convention. And I could just like, you know, chill, go out, relax. And once I, you know, have my schedule for my shifts, I'm probably going to like see if I can like spend some time with my mom during the convention so that I can, you know, have proper meals. Because your girl still can't drive, even though she's nearly old enough to drink alcohol in the U.S. of A. Like, I still don't have my, you know, license. Or a permit. In fact, I nearly failed the exam for driver's ed twice. Back when I took it, when I was like... In high school. I did it online, though. In fact, it was to the point where the person who, like... Was supervising the exam just told me to just get out Quizlet. And, so that I could, like, somewhat pass the exam. Because they were probably, like, tired of my autistic ass. Just, you know, constantly failing it. You probably didn't want to see me again. For a third time. At the rec center. To do the exam over and over again. Actually, I have an idea. Like, you know about Transformers? Y'all know about Transformers, right? Or the transforming the robots that can turn into cars and planes. I feel like some sort of, like, VR simulation. And with, you know... Kind of like a Transformer character. Probably one of the ones that, you know, turns in, into cars. Having, like, some sort of VR experience where you can, like, learn how to drive with, you know, a Transformer. Or, and, like, you can, like, you know, have, you know, your wheels on, like, I mean, your hands on, a, on the wheel. But there's no risk of, like, getting into an accident. Because it's VR! And therefore... You can, like... Kind of, like, slowly adjust to, like... You know... Learning how to drive... With the voice of, like... Optimus Prime, like, Bumblebee or something, you know, teaching you. Like, that could be a good way to help some, someone with, like, driving it. Like me, who is, like, very anxious about learning how to drive. Like, kind of like curb a bit of that anxiety of learning how to drive. With, like... Alright, there we go. 
Now I'm going to turn those layer, one of the layers off. And I'm probably going to like copy and paste each one of them and like, you know, do a mesh transform so that I can see what it will look like. You know. CV. Edit. Transform. Mesh transformation. Okay. That's not what I meant to do. Yeah, what I meant to do. It is yeah, what I meant to do. Uh Yes. Well, technically not triangles. These are like diamonds and symbols. And like the shape of an infinity. Kind of like combining like two different symbols. Pasquato, how are you? I am just figuring out what these are going to look like. So, yeah. And then I probably need to like separate the upper legs. Control X, Control V, but yeah. So I'm probably also gonna have to like split these in half as well. Make the seams. So that it's like easier to like to sort them. means uh, control X control V and seam right now those are finally separated
Now this is kind of like some progress. Last time we finished the shoes. Which are, by the way, these are the most detailed shoes I've ever drawn. I like the most accurate I've ever drawn as well. But, yeah, I probably should, like, work on my, uh, the hair base and also the, uh, top hair a little more. Because, like, so if I zoom in over here, it's, like, behind these veins, like, over here... Like, especially, like, this one here. Like, this one here is going to, like, kind of, like, intersect a little bit into the, like, top. To, like, add a little more dimension. Especially for when, you know, my model is, like, looking down. It's going to be like that. So, in order to, like, do that, I have to, in Live 2D, I have to use the glue. And in the uh, drawing software, Clip Studio Paint, I need to kind of, like, cut. Cut this, you know, like, probably, like, over here. And then have this be, like, behind the veins. Of course, I'm probably going to, like, make some sort of, like, part over here. But yeah, I just kind of like to help, like, make the illusion. And of course, I do have my, uh, model concept, you know, in v -Roid Studio. Because of course I do. I am, of course, like that. And of course, I do need to add, like, over here, I have to add, like, the diamond shape. I have to add it in several places. Including, like, the hands. In fact, I'll probably make, use the, uh, asset that I used to, like, make the, you know, pupils. Make them look a little fancier. And of course... I'm probably going to like try and... Uh... Actually, hold on. Let me check my uh... Our... Okay. B-Roid is on top of the... The, uh, join in the layer. So I'm going to get Vroid out. So I like to mention that this model over here, this one is the first ever Vroid model I ever made. I kind of like use like a preset. I used a lot of preset. I just used the preset hair here on this one and just like made it a little longer and uh, made it curlier for this model. If I load it. So this is the model that I used before I, you know, debuted this one. And, uh, 
I did the front all by myself, and I believe I kind of, like, did something similar to my, like, one point, my, like, very first model, and, like, just, actually, no, I probably just, like, did squiggles. I did not know at that, at the time of making this model, I did not know about the twist. And now, with my uh, 2.0 over here, this is, uh, like, just, like, to, like, have the concept. I don't plan on using this model at all in terms of, like, live streaming. Like, all I really want to do with this model is just use this as, like, a concept. I even made, like, some custom hair textures. You know, like, the texture of the hair and the eyes here I made all of them and if I had experience in blender I would like try and make a concept for her t-shirt and like pants and stuff but for now it's kind of just looking like this but yeah this is the, you know, concept that I, the concept model for the 2.0. And of course I might like use this for like the live 2D model in terms of like figuring out perspective. Because apparently there's this tip that I learned uh, sometime like into like making my model like after i figured out how uh, to like do the head tilt head turn like the x turn apparently there's this tip where you can like just use uh, like the head model in clip studio paint modify it to fit your you know model turn it Save that as like a screenshot or something, or like rasterize it. Then you just use the mapping tool, or like temporary deform, and then you can just like deform the head to like fit the the head, the three D head. And I was and. When I was saw that vid that short on YouTube, I was just saying that like I could have done that the entire time. I could have done that the entire time. What the heck? But anyway, the song has changed, and because of that. I'm going to go on an intermission. Also, because uh, my teeth are kind of bothering right now, me right now, so I'm going to brush them. Because I forgot to this morning. Around the time I woke up. I'll be back.
All right, chat. I brushed my teeth. Apparently, there was, like, something stuck in my teeth, which was, like, kind of bothering me. I was able to remove it with my flosser. So, yeah. Now, I think I'm going to, uh, do some more work on... I feel like I can, like, stop working on the pants for right now. And I'm going to go... Work on the... You know, teeth over here. But I'm going to, uh... Make these go up a little bit. I'm also... Actually, hold on. Carrot gum. I think I can probably like use the same color or like. All right. Okay. And the reason why I'm adding the gums is so that I can, like, have extra detail. Like, especially if I do, like, a toothy grin. I kind of wanted to, like, have the, uh, Gum is like I kind of like over here. I'm using the same color as the tongue, and by the way. And let's check with the upper lip. All right, that appears to be, be relatively smooth. So... I'm going to move uh, this to here. And I'm going to turn down this to six. And turn this down to 12. So, I feel like a good tip I can probably, like, add if you're, like, doing digital art, like me, is to, like, have your eraser be around, like, double the size of uh, your, like, pen. Like, if it's at, like, five, have, have, if your pen is at, like, five pixels, have your eraser be around, like, ten. Now... I'm going to cut out Pinterest once again. 
I uh, probably forgot to like save that one, uh, you know, reference. Uh, teeth reference. So... I'm going to... Make these... I'm gonna remove the top. So that these can look a little more like incisors. And Then there's, of course, the canines. And the reason why I have the canine is like, be relatively sharp. That is because I have only have the lower canines. And because of that, I tend to like. Like, for example, in this model. I kind of draw emphasis to those, you know, upper canines. Now, uh, I'm going to uh, do the premolars as well. I'm going to do the gums as well. Let's do the tongue base. I can probably make these a little smaller. Now let's check with the lower lip. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to Wait, no, that's not what I meant to do. So this is the color of the teeth. Well, the line color of the teeth. Now, uh, we protect Alpha right here as well. And that's because here we do a bit of shading on the uh, lower teeth and then uh, we just straight up use we just use straight white over here then we uh, do that and that like kind of gives a gradient a little bit to the you know teeth
Like, it's very subtle. And to be honest, probably a little creepy. But it is, you know... It's like an easy way to like add a bit of detail without like, you know, trying to scramble. With like trying to figure out how to like make a whole bunch of details for like teeth without making it look too creepy. The one big thing about teeth is that if they're a little too detailed, then they are going to look creepy. Like, if you individually draw each teeth, they are going to look very creepy. That's why, uh, for like, the front incisors over here, I uh, don't really add a line in between uh, in them. Because that would add a bit of creepiness to my model. That I don't really want to have. Like, I don't really want to add any extra creepiness to a model. That is meant to be a little cuter. So, yeah. It's kind of like the main thing I do with, you know, my, uh, with the teeth here. And I like to mention that I'm kind of just messing around. And of course, once I, you know, get this, you know, life duty ready, I'm going to be separating all of the teeth that aren't like the front incisors. It's like, here this will be separated into left and right, here will be separated into left and right, so on and so forth. This is also going to happen with up here, but it's just less. Because I don't have to do. You know, the, uh, upper canines. Because I don't have mine. Like, at all. I've probably said this several times before, but... I don't have upper canines. They were removed, uh, when I had my wisdom teeth removed as well. Like, nearly a decade ago, actually. I think I was, like, 12 when I had my wisdom teeth and upper canines removed. And to be fair, I kind of have a relatively small mouth, so... Like, my jaw is relatively small. And my canines, one of them was, like, a needle tooth, so, like, it was half the size it was meant to be. But it was, like, impeding on uh, some of my incisors, or, like, premolars, I think, you know, growing in. So, they had to remove them. And I remember the day that I kind of, like, went to, you know, I mean, I kind of remember the day that I had that procedure done. I remember because I remember coming home and just like passing out on the couch. And of course I had this little thingy this ice pack thing that like goes on top of your head and you like tie it together on your chin. Also, holy fuck, I uh probably need to like fix the 
like, mouth for my model. Uh, or I just need to, like, make the, you know, the inside part of the mouth smaller. Because y'all don't really see it. And there we go. That is now rendered. Chant, you know, merge. I think I meant to like do this. Yeah, that looks better. So, uh, mouse interior. Which is... Oh, that's the blur. So... I'm going to make this small. Like, small relative uh, to, like, the rest of the mouth and the jaw. Actually, I can probably, like, do it up to there. And now, we just kind of do this. Oh. I just realized a bit of a mistake. Also, I know this looks very, very creepy right now. I'm eventually going to make it less so. Center incisors. Uh... Uh... Well, it's not meant to be that color... There we go. Now I'm going to turn off the upper teeth. Now we uh, go to the canines. Now. Uh, I'm going to turn off these side incisors. And I'm going to try and make, like, this be, like, one of the more detailed, uh, you know, teeth. 
and uh, and that is of course going to be through The little gradient. And even more. I'm going to Let's do that. Then we merge. And that looks pretty good, even though it does look very creepy. Because this is like one of the more cursed stages of Life 2D. Sometimes it just starts looking very cursed when you start doing the teeth and like the inside of the mouth and all that So yeah And, of course, I am, uh, going to be, uh, so, I forgot what I was gonna say, god dang it. I'm going to also be doing the tongue. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm gonna do some of the tongue as well. At least, like, the inside. My mouth part of the tongue. I probably need to, like, go and, uh... Like, save my, uh... I have to model as a PSD. You know, beforehand. So that I can, like... Work on... Fixing up a bit of the, uh... Mouth interior over on this mouth. On uh, my current model that I'm using right now. Now we merge. And that is the teeth for now. I don't think I'll add the other premolars uh, on the bottom. Unless I like really, really wanna. But for now, I'm going to turn that back on. Cause it, it was starting to look a little creepy. I mean, it is like, Spooky month. Like the tail end, like almost Halloween. But yeah. Let's save this for now.
and I'm probably going to like do a little bit of detailing, like especially like so like down here, like over here. I'm probably going to add a bit of shading. So, let's go full body, turn the, uh, turn that back on, shading, clip it to the color. Let's turn off the hip layer. Oh, I accidentally made a mistake. Wait, no, this is like the pelvis. Wait. Yeah, I did. This is meant to stay with the hips. Now I'm going to turn down the opacity of this to about 60%. And we're going to just blur the fuck out of this. Actually, let's turn this down to like 40% opacity. Uh, yeah, I definitely fucked this up. Uh, hips, the merge X. V and merge. And that is fixed. Hmm. I might need to uh, look up. How to like shade a pant? I might need to look at some other VTuber models to see how I can like shade these. But yeah. So yeah. So Hmm. 
Life 2D. Uh, actually, I'm going to save this anatomy. Okay, uh, I have to the model. So, based on what I'm looking at, I believe, like, around the knees is where you, like, add the shading. Uh, I'm going to... Pattern. So I'm going to uh, like do this a little messily because I know I'm just gonna end up blurring the fuck out of it. That's kind of like how I kind of do these models. Well, like kind of like how I do art in general. If I can't blur her, her the shading, I will blur the shading. It's kind of like a soft stealth shade in style. That's not what I meant to do. And, uh, blur. Actually, no. Let's blur both of these up. Shade opacity down. And I feel like I should probably like... So... I'm probably going to like... I'm going to make the... I'm not going to make this like super duper clean. Because it's going to end up being blurred to hell anyway. In fact, I'm going to go check how it 
looks blur. Now, pass it down. Now, we do that over here. But yeah, this is kind of like a guide for how uh, to like warp the, you know. Diamond pattern on the bottom. But yeah. Ugh. 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 Stretch! Ugh. Also, I probably need to go change my pad in a bit. Luckily, I'm like on the tail end of my period because like... The heaviest part of it came along, like, on Saturday. And because of that... That I should not... I should no longer be on my period around the time the convention happens. But, I'm probably going to pack pads just in case. Mostly in case, like, anyone else, like, needs them. So, current state of the model. I'm probably gonna do another intermission uh, once this song ends. And once it does, I'll do an intermission and then start working on the hair a little more. Probably on like some of the flyaways. So I can like work more or on like the base. In fact, I might turn off the, you know, I already have that off. So I'm probably going to like work a little more on like what I do need to work on. Such as, like, I do know that I need to do, uh, I do need to do the art hand, and I'm going to make it a little more complex. Like, instead of, you know, the usual, like, like what I did in this one, where it's just like one uh, solid uh, hand, I'm probably going to do like the palm, the fingers, the stylus, you know, that kind of stuff. But of course, I, uh, do need to, like, sketch out the, the drawing hand, and first. So... The only thing uh, that is kind of, like, done here is the, you know, flip the bird toggle. I need to do the hold plush toggle.
which I'm going to start doing right now. But yeah, so compared to like, so after yesterday, you know, not yesterday, after Friday, which was when I had like my physical therapy, like my first physical therapy session, and I've, I've since done some of the exercises for like over the weekend. I've since done that. And what I've been experiencing is pain in my thighs, especially. So... Let's do the base for the skin. Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to uh, turn off the full body. You late folder words. Now we're going to do this. a little thicker. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So... So, uh, blush. to the arm color. And uh, there we go. 
I can turn down the opacity of this. And then we can go and uh, like work on some more of the arm. Actually, no. I don't. I think I probably need to like. I should probably, like, catch out what the head is going to look like. Wait. Sukipen. Make it look a little bit like a mochi. And I'm probably going to make this my Transformer Perzosi Subi actor. Who I am kind of in the process of redesigning a bit. I'm just going to do like a preliminary sketch of her features. And of course, I probably need to like finish her redesign before I like you know work on this further And the reason why is because, you know, she is a work in progress. Still. Pop this out. Wait, no. That's not what I meant to really do. Oop de doo. But yeah. This is like 
Mitsubi's uh, older design. She does have an even older one. Like, like she kind of has like two. This is like when she was a Decepticon. And this is when she's like an Autobot. The tumble up is just for silliness. But this is kind of like a current state of her redesign. Yeah. Kinda wanted to add a Subi Ector or to some part of the model. Like even if it's just like a teeny a little bit. And uh a little bit of, uh, looking at you. In fact, I might make it so that her optics kind of like, like the people of her optics kind of like look around with the model as well. In fact, I might add a little bit of physics to her tail and, su and stuff. Like, for example, like, if I have her kind of like this, and like her tail kind of like this, I can have her tail do like a bit of flopping around. Of course, I'm probably going to make in here the tail relatively straight, so that it's easier to rig it. But, yeah. I'm probably just gonna put like a little pause over here. So, uh, she's kind of like she just hanging. She just chillin'. She's kind of like used to being held like this. And she is staring you down. Cause she is just a silent little medic who's a bit of a menace. She kind of has like a little pause as well, so I'm gonna put those in. But yeah. I don't know how much I'll separate the head head over here. I know that I'm probably going to at the very least like separate hit the eyes. Uh, and you know, so that they can move uh, along with me. Or I'm just going to add, like, physics. I 
And I have to mention that I finally added my uh, hotkeys for my model to the stream deck. So I can turn the hearing protection on and I can turn them off. On, off, on, off. So yeah. Headphones. Indeed. I have the uh, headphones. The hearing protection. But yeah. I'm kind of just sketching this out a little bit. And little paws over here as well. Cause she's a bit of a silly billy kitty. Actually, no, she's more like a wolf, actually. Yeah, she is kind of like, yeah. So to kind of describe Subi, she's a medic. Her fortune story is like kind of complicated because she, her protoform was kind of like found during the establishment of the Tyrest Accords. Like, in, like, the, uh, IDW continuity. And, uh, she was, like, almost inert at birth. I mean, I say birth, but, like, heavy quote-unquote birth. That's because uh, Cybertronians and, you know, Transformers don't really have proper birth. But half of her CNA, which is kind of like like the building blocks for you know the uh, for what a transformer is, like their alt mode, like what determines their like root mode appearance and stuff. Part of it was gone. It was not there. At all. So she kind of had to have some donated. So that she could, you know, forge properly. And in the process of that, she gets Medic DNA and Speedster DNA. I don't know, DNA, CNA. Well, it's kind of similar. And because of that, she like has some coding that can make her a medic. Like, make her really used to being medic. A medic. Of course, she did need the training to become one. So, like, she stayed with the Autobots for some time. Like, a brief split custody situation and then and uh, when she was with the Decepticons during those times she was taught to use weapons and fight she uh, didn't really like fighting at all although she's more of a pacifist or more like just, just hits non-lethal spots. But she ends up being a bit of a goblin. 
Like, kind of like, if you are due for your checkup and maintenance, she is going to grab you. Like, she will yoink you from wherever you are and drag your ass as to the medical station for your checkup. That is what she does. And nobody can really stop her. She kind of has like free reign to just yoink someone and just give them a checkup and then just like just go, okay, you're free now. And she has traumatized several Decepticons with that. She's just a little bean. Albeit a menace to literally anyone who is just like, who thinks that they can skip out on their medical checkups. You're a fool if you think you can do that. Nobody escapes to be actor of Rodeon. Not even Autobots, like before she defected. They weren't immune to those checkups either. But usually if they were like prisoners. The Sibi is kind of just like... She sometimes like wanders through the prisoners and just gives them a checkup. And if they have a clean bill of health, she kind of just gives them a data slug. I hope to be like, give this to your, your Autobot mega medic whenever you like, you run off and, and escape. But yeah, she is kind of just like a menace. To anyone who does not like doctors. Because you can't really escape her. Because she's small. She is a small bean. She is very small. She's like 15 feet tall. Which is big for human standards. Small for Transformer standards, depending on the continuity. But yeah, she's kind of like five meters tall. In fact, I'm going to go take another break. Because I'm feeling a little restless. And the sun is, you know, ending. So I'm going to uh, do my intermission. And then we can continue working on this model. Be right back.
I'm back. Fuck my glasses. They fell. And I have a kitty with me. He is doing the munching quench. The munchity quenchity. And there we go. Next song is now play on. So. So, now this does look a little messy, but to be fair, it's kind of going to be like obscured by all the kibble eventually And actually, I'm going to erase that. And So, I'm gonna turn this around. And... Uh, Color Ashlyn two point oh. Let's turn off the arm. Here we go. Now, uh, here we go. That's not what I meant to do. So. Let's thicken this up. In fact, I'm going to
do this. Here we go. Alright. Now, let's see the progress. And I'll turn off the plush head. Now, uh, color and the line. In fact, let's go make this a little thicker. And join two. So. I'm going to end this line prematurely because I have a totem. And that kind of like kind of is like a thumb that is shorter than average.
Now uh, the thumb is done. I might need to like Edit the palm a little bit. There we go. Palm has now been more fully defined. I think I'm going to take a break from the plush hold asset. And I'm probably going to like go like work on a bit of the hair. So... Making Ashlyn bald for a moment. to delete the line and color and I'm going to turn off all the flyaways as actually I'll keep the flyaways on just lower the opacity to about like half.
And uh, this is kind of like how the hair is gonna be like. I really feel like putting Quisa in here. Oh god. I'm starting to lose interest in my own heart. Oh no. The concentration. Is the concentration. Is the two we are waiting. Oh no. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna have to like do a bit of a cut and paste. All right, control C, control V. Thank you. 
There we go. Mm. Mm. I think I'm going to change to something different. And I did give her a little bit of a hooked nose. Like a little, little triangle over here. Yes, this is a transformer. I'm doing this little heart thingy because I don't really want to draw either insignia right now. Hmm. 
I think I'm going to omit this little thing. Hmm. I probably should gather a few more references. No, I think they're still in downloads. I'm gonna grab this. Went too far. So this
I'm uh, kind of uh, getting a little tired of like drawing and stuff. My attention span kind of feels a little out of whack. Oh. Hello, Chris Sparber! <laughs> You're on a different tab. Understandable. Yeah. How are you? I'm just fine one day. I hope you're doing well. Hello there. Also, thank you for following. Uh, what all did I draw? Well, I made some changes to uh, to this character. Her name is Subi Ector. I'm gonna delete this layer. And I also made uh, a bunch of progress on my next model. Which... I have a plush, uh, like a toggle for holding this character here. She is uh, just a little silly. But yeah. I'm gonna. Turn on all of these layers. So, this is kind of what that the model looks like. And... Uh, yeah. I also make these plushy assets, as you can probably see from, you know, my shoulders. There, I make free-to-use Transformers assets. Which, in fact... That is where you can download those assets. They're all free-to-use... Just make sure to credit me. Uh, what do I draw or enjoy drawing? I draw a lot of uh, my own characters. Like, if they're an OC of mine, I probably... I mostly draw original characters. But I have been mostly working on my Life2D model 
like my 2.0 as of late. But yeah, I love drawing my own OCs. It's really fun to do. And some of them, well, a lot of them are also like, you know, for stories that I, you know, write and stuff. Like, Patchouli! This is Patchouli Gimlet, the protagonist of a story that I'm writing. I made this like several months ago. But yeah. This is Patchouli. And there is also Dahlia. And there's this like concept thingy. I have for like some of the sprites and stuff. Like portraits and stuff. I really like this one. But, yeah. Safe for work only? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, even if I wanted to draw and not safe for work stuff, I can't really do that here on Twitch. Because I would get bonked. You know, by, you know, Twitch. If I ever tried to do that. And I, uh... I want to do now that I think of it. Yeah, I only really do stay for work stuff. In fact, I am probably going to do the character profile for this character here. Her name is Osme, which is short for Osmanthus. And a bunch of Pikachus over here of her. But yeah, I only really do safe for work stuff. Because uh, I stream a lot of my art process. And uh, Twitch isn't really like a place to post, you know, or draw not safe for work stuff.
So... Yeah, I only really do like Save for work, her art. Especially if, you know, I'm streaming. Because if I try, if I ever try to do like something that isn't that, I'd, uh, I wouldn't really be able to stream. Because I would get bunked by the Twitch algorithm. And I would like to keep my Twitch channel. You know, as much as possible. I really don't want to, like... Have to be forced to go on another platform. Because Twitch is, like... I know I can stream on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. That's because comments and tags. Yeah. I mean... I can probably draw, like... Slightly suggestive stuff. I just can't draw something that is, like, completely not safe for work. Eventually, I'm probably going to end up doing, like, posting art that is, like, artistic nudity or some, something like that. But, but for now, I won't be able to dream myself drawing those. But for now, I just draw safe for work stuff. But yeah, that's kind of like generally what I draw. I mostly draw like OCs and stuff.
I have no idea what I just heard. Or if y'all heard it either. I'm not really gonna worry about it. And there we go. I know this kind of sucks ass right now, but I will eventually, like, Make it look better. So, uh, I'm going to I'm going to save this as...
Okay. Okay, I'm going to go do an intermission because I uh, need to go use the bathroom and change my pad. So I shall be back.
Power. I'm back. So I might change to some cuisinier after this, but if I'm going to be perfectly honest, I might like end stream so that I can, you know, like not right now. I'm not going to end stream right now. It's just that in a bit, once I, you know, do some more progress on this. I'm probably going to like and stream so that I can do some of my physical therapy exercises. And yeah. So, hopefully by like, the time the convention comes around, my thighs won't be hurting as bad compared to like, Saturday. Cause back on Saturday, my thighs were hurting. Because, you know, apparently my problem area, which I'm having addressed with the exercises, are my hips. They, uh, don't move at all. So, because of that, I have to do, like, exercises with pool noodles that are cut up. And... Yeah. That's kind of what I've been doing over the weekend. Wait, shit. Not what I meant to do. But yeah. That's kind of like I've been doing over the past few few days. Of course, I might not be able to like do my exercises at all during the convention because you know my mom isn't going to be there. Do like help me. know figure out which hotel I'm going to be staying at and what my ships are gonna be I'm probably gonna try and at least like meet up with my mom a little bit after my shift so I can like have dinner and stuff because you know food and also because I can't drive at all Like, I don't have a driver's license or a permit. Mm. 
neither of them. So, yeah. Extending the jaw a little bit. And uh, let's... Nestle this. And move that down. So, yeah. That is why I only have three streams scheduled this week. Because I'll be at a convention and I cannot drive. Because of that, I am just gonna be at the convention center the whole time. And, uh, of course, I am going to be taking pictures of, you know, the convention and, like, what I get at the convention. And I dropped my phone again. But yeah. Once I, you know... Have some time... To like... So... Probably after stream... I'm going to start packing more for the convention. Like, I'm gonna start packing up some pajamas... And, uh, you know, some of the stuff that I need for the convention. I don't plan on packing my medication until, like, the night before where I have to go. Because I'm, uh, I'd have to take them beforehand. And I am probably going to also pack my emergency inhaler. You know, as a precaution. So, yeah. That's probably what I'm going to be doing. But yeah.
actually, you know what? I think I'm going to end stream him now because uh, now that I mentioned it, I probably should start packing up, you know, all the, you know, things for a Necocon. So, uh, moving this without flashbanging myself. I am going to end stream now. And... I'm going to end stream now, and uh, I'm probably going to do uh, some of my physical therapy exercises, and then I'll start packing up what I need to pack for the convention. So hopefully tomorrow I won't have to really worry about it while we're playing Cuisineer. So, uh, yeah. I will be here tomorrow at 1 p.m. EST. The or for the 24 hour clock, 1300. And I uh, will be playing Cuisineer. Hopefully we can uh, pay off the rest of the debt. And yeah. I'll be here tomorrow. Oh, uh, and, and on Wednesday we'll be doing some writing. As I, you know, have in my schedule, there is going to be no stream on Thursday or Friday as I'll be at the convention center, both helping set everything up and, you know, either just spending time in the convention center or just doing my shift. Unfortunately, that means no special Halloween stream this year. But, yeah. Luckily, next year, I'll be able to. But, I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.